Okay, hello everyone, and we are coming at you with some live Umbra ASMR because it is late here, and uh, it, it, it is late here. So Joom is up now, we're taking a look at her, her stats seem pretty good, but until I've seen her on uh, Wode of Calc, hard to say if she's going to be the most broken thing ever. But we are going to take a little peek at her. She's got a nice little TMR here. Looks like critical evasion, some HP, defense and spirit up skill. Uh, taking a look at her limit burst looks, you know, pretty strong. But the big thing here that we want to talk about is her banner. Because this is the future of these best banners. So let's take a look here. First of all, scrolling down. You're going to notice that the rate is pretty much what we expected. It's not anything really better or worse than we thought. It's just what it is. Uh, and we'll talk about that probably later, about my thoughts on that. But that is noticeable. What is noticeable here is when I click this button. Let's see if you can spot what's missing from this banner. Also, if we get her, that's just pure coincidence at this point. But it isn't looking like it. Round and around and around we go. Okay, we got nothing, but the thing you're going to note here, there's no pity timer. There is no pity timer. So for anybody who was hoping that there was going to be a pity timer to get this character, there is not. The rates are pretty bad. That being said, I am going to do some polls just for entertainment's sake to show you how bad the rates are and how unlikely you are to get her. Because, you know, YouTube entertainment and shit. Well, chat, it's already the second poll, so no. She is 2K medals. I see that question in chat. She is 2K medals. Uh, there is no 9-step, though, so it is more expensive. It is 40k Lapis to Pity. Uh, once these characters' banners are gone, they won't be back until future fests. So as you can see, we're already off to a good thing here. We're a good go. We're not getting anything. We didn't even get really that many stars out of this. It's not like it's even giving double stars at this point. Basically, yeah, she's limited. Oof. Why isn't there a pity bar? Because apparently. Isn't this a great festival, you guys? Doesn't this doesn't this make you feel like you're having a festival? Hey, a gold book. At least we're not getting totally screwed. This is at least a little bit exciting for my video. Before it was just sad, now it's just only kind of sad. That's a good character, right?
pause for the sweat. Strong tank. You guys thought we were going to get her. And this is our last one, because at this point, we would have earned ourselves a pity. But there isn't one. And I really think that this is something that Globalers should pay attention to, because honestly, at this point, this is not something that the game should be striving to do. We should not be going into year two and be losing our pity timers. Man, nothing wants to reform into a rainbow. And for the sweat. There you go. So yeah. Uh, Globalers, I, I hope this is what you look forward to in the future. This is uh, what we have to look forward to. Uh, no pities, uh, no operates, uh, except on maybe the paid, where you... where you are getting doubled for paid, but there you go. There, there, there is, there are the best banners. No upgrades, no extra resources, no extra rewards, really no bonuses at all for the players. Happy, happy festival to everyone. Anyway. Thanks for watching this video. Let me know what you think of this new system. I'll probably do a separate video that isn't about polls at some point in the future, just to really highlight this. But yeah, this is uh, this is probably going to be happening every month on the JP side from now on, looking at the schedule. So hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.